Hi guys, Scott with Houston Event Photography. Uh, I'm going to start out with a new video showing you how to set up TEPSEX on a brand new computer. I just got a new iMac in today and I've installed TEPS software onto this Mac. If you don't have it, uh, you can download it at their website. Uh, just do a search for TriPRISM TEPSEX and sign up and it will let you download a demo version, I believe. Anyway, we've got it on here. I'm going to show you how we set it up on our computers. Uh, first off, we're going to go down here to the Finder, and then we're going to go to Applications, and we're going to search for the folder. It's going to be in this Tepsec X Share folder. Say that real quick three times, Teps X Share. All right, we're going to open it up, and I'm going to show you the folders that uh, and the items that we put on our desktop and uh, over in our Finder. Uh, the three main things that we put in there is we put the TEPSEX X Share application down here just by dragging it onto the taskbar. We also put the TEPS processor share down here just by dropping it in there next to the camera. And the last thing we put on there is the print center. And we'll drag that down and drop it in there. And those things stay on our desktop all the time. Uh, there's other things that you can add down there, uh, but those are the three main items that we use. Then we also uh, want to drag a few folders over into the finder so that we can find them easily. Uh, one of the main ones is our print to file folder. We drag it over here and you can just drop it anywhere in there. Um, the next one that we uh, put in there is our graphics folder. And I'll just drop it underneath that one. And just to make it easy to find, we go ahead and put the processor folder over there too. Now this is not moving it uh, from your applications folder, but it's just creating a shortcut so that you don't have to look for them uh, you can just find them over here in your favorites all the time. And that's pretty much it. That's how we set up our computers. So now if I go back to Finder, you'll notice that those folders are there. If I double click in there, it'll show you uh, the folders that are there. And sometimes I, uh, I put other folders in here, but most of the time this is just the default how we set it up and for some reason it didn't keep that one folder that uh, that TEPSEC share so I'm going to go back in there and put that back in there it should have stayed there but it didn't I want to drag that folder over here that way I can get to any item in the TEPSEC folder without having to go to applications and open up another folder and then take multiple steps um, sometimes I put my, um, there's a folder in here, uh, chroma key folder, uh, on some of my computers I have it on there. I'm going to go ahead and drop it on there on this one just so I can go in there and real quickly look and see what, uh, templates I have in there in case I have to edit one. I can just go in there and click on it. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. And that pretty much uh, completes how we how we set it up. Now I haven't ran TEPSEX yet. I'll go ahead and start that now. This is the first time I've opened this up, and it's going to tell me my 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 counter is dangerously low. It says it's at zero. That's because I haven't registered this version of uh, TEPSEX yet. I'm still waiting on them to send me the key, but it'll let you go ahead and start it and play with it. Uh, and just kind of give you an idea of how it works. Again, um, this is the main menu, and uh, whenever you're going to make any changes to any preferences in TEPSEX, you'll probably want to come back to this main menu. You can change some of the things in submenus when you're actually operating uh, TEPSEX, but a lot of things will be grayed out, like this input window. Right now I can change it to camera, which is what I'm going to do right now. And I'm going to change it to Nikon because that's what we use. Uh, me and my partner both uh, shoot Nikon, but some of my other photographers shoot Canon. So if they're using this 
uh, on site. They have to go in there and change that. And uh, pretty much right now, all the preferences are, are just how they come from the factory. Uh, it's also a good idea. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And I'm going to go in here under Preferences. And I'm going to say Save Settings to File. And I'm going to say TEPSEC Share. Uh, I don't need all this at the end. I'm going to put the date on here. I'm going to put 05. Today is the 9th, I think and 2013 and it's going to save it in this preferences folder I'm going to go ahead and save that and when you make changes to your preferences it's always a good idea to save it one thing you can do is then if you save these preferences and you have multiple computers and you want them all to be set up exactly the same all you have to do is load the preferences off of one computer onto all the other computers and they all should be identically set up and it just makes it real easy uh, to do that but this is how we do it like I said this is the main images um, the main uh, menu for TEPSEX right here all your preferences are here and I discussed some of these preferences in other videos I just wanted to throw this video up on uh, YouTube just in case uh, you're just loading TEPSEX up for the first time and you wanted to see how we actually set ours up. All right, we appreciate you listening. And uh, if you have any questions, you can email us at info at HoustonEventPhotography.com. Uh, thanks, and we'll see you on the next video.